hope you guys are doing good. Today I'm going to do an unboxing for my Escape Monthly box. Um, I got a deal where I got three of these boxes so um, for September, October, November. So this one's for September. So I am super, super behind. Um, my New Year's resolution this year is going to be to cut back on my boxes for sure. So when you open this up, I like the packaging. I, I like their um, trademark blue like stripe. Um, packaging and then every month is a different theme to a location so on the information card it's saying that we are in Puerto Rico and then next month we will be in London and then when you open up the information card it shows you a photo of each item a little bit about it and then the retail of how much the item costs and they offer two different types of boxes they offer the full size that's the one that I have right now and then they offer a mini and the big thing that's not in the mini that's in the full size are these books. So you get one of these books um, for every Escape Monthly box. And I want to say that the brand might be different, but this is from Moon. And so there's just a, a tour guide book. Um, I just don't see myself really using these very much. I mean, it's interesting to see the places, but there's not any photo pictures. Well, there's a couple photo pictures in here that are colored, but... Not a lot, and with technology these days, I can go on Pinterest and look at a different location and, like, be able to see exactly what's going on. Um, so, yeah, I just don't see myself getting a lot of use for this book. And this book retails on here, it says for 17 bucks, so it takes up a big chunk of the value of the box. The next item I have is this Mi Madre Hot Sauce. So I like that all the items come obviously from that location. This is what it looks like. This is what the front of it looks like. And this retails for $3. And I was looking on here for an expiration date and I do not see one. So that's kind of alarming. But uh, the next item I have, it's a candy. This is from Dual Zara. And it's coconut pineapple candy bites. So that's what the packaging looks like. It's kind of cute. And then I like it that each candy is individually wrapped. This is what it looks like. I'm not a big coconut pineapple candy kind of person. So I'm not really quite sure how I will like these. And then this expires in December on the 16th. So I did get this box in September. So that is... A pretty decent time for candy before it expires. The next item I have, and that candy retails for five bucks. The next item I have is this um, coconut candle from Caribbean Soaps. So that's what it looks like. It's extremely tiny. It does smell great. Um, it doesn't tell you. I'm not a big coconut fan, but it smells just like coconut oil. Um, it doesn't tell you how long it burns for. And the retail is at five dollars, which is insane. Like, I mean, just insane. Like, um, okay, so here's the size of that little bite-sized candy, and a size of the candle. Like, they are the exact same size. This is like, oh, this is like the size of um those little jams that you get. A little bit bigger, but almost. So yeah, five dollars just seems way too high for this. The next item, they say that the retail value of this is nine dollars, which is totally insane. So the pin is really cute. It's a little frog. Um, actually, to be correct, it's a koki frog. And it just gives a little bit about um, the history of this frog. Um, so I think it's really cool that it, you know, like they're adding items that aren't just food items in their boxes. But I just cannot imagine this thing being worth nine dollars. So that's what it looks like, and it's extremely like tiny. Like, it's just like the tip of my finger, like this. But the pen, good detail, but I mean, $9, insane. Absolutely insane. The next item I have are plantation chips. Um, I have tried plantation chips before. And they're not like banana chips. I don't like them very much. Um, but, you know, I did think it was interesting. It's made by Frito-Lay. Our Frito-Lay distributes them, manufactures them, something along those lines. This is what it looks like. And they say that this retails for $3, which, I mean, it doesn't seem right either. Because it's so so small. Like, I just can't imagine, like, a big bag of chips would be $3. I don't, I just don't know how this one would be 3 bucks for the same size. 
And then look, it has a little frog on there too. So I thought that was kind of cool. How these are correlating together. And then let me see if I can find an expiration date on these. I will probably eat them because they're not so terrible that you can't eat them. But they just really aren't something that's like super tasty. Okay. So, no, I'm not going to eat these. And my issue was this expired September 26, 2014. I got my box in mid-September. So I got something that was already expired. And I remember seeing that when I opened the box. And it just really rubbed me the wrong way um, to send expired stuff or things that are about to expire within like a couple weeks. This isn't a good, um, good business practice. So I have two more items. This one is... Um, Yukono coffee. It looks like there's four ounces. What it looks like, and this retails for ten dollars, which is once again way overpriced. I mean, maybe it's a specialty coffee, but I can get a big bag of Starbucks coffee for about six bucks. And I understand that this is not a Starbucks, maybe it's not a big manufactured coffee. But it just seems like ten dollars for four ounces, probably maybe two coffee pots. It just seems just a bit much. And then the last item is a bonus, and this is also okay. So this is a bonus. I don't know if they add it when they do the promotions as the retail value or not the retail value. Sorry, the box value. But this little guy, I think, is cute. It's a keychain, and it has a little image on it. But they said that this is seven dollars, and like I've been to Puerto Rico, and this would not be this would not be seven dollars. Same thing with the pin, and half of the stuff here. You would, I mean, it's not even like bargain shopping. Like just shopping, I could find this for maybe like a buck or less. So overall, I like that there's different things to try, but I'm just not happy with what they say that the value of the box is and then what you're getting. I just don't think it matches up, and then I was really unhappy to get something that was already expiring my box as well so I will toss that out but I will unbox the other two I have but yeah overall I don't think I would resubscribe to this box all right guys thanks for watching